What is up guys? So today I'm going to be doing something different to this car. Something that perhaps many people won't be in agreement to. <laughs> but I'm going to do it just because I think it would be really helpful. Which is installing a backup camera onto the car. Um, I have a Kenwood head unit in my car, uh, the touch screen. And it comes with the option of being able to um, hook up a backup camera. So I decided to uh, take that opportunity and install a backup camera onto this car. So what I want to end up doing is essentially taking off the lock for the key in the trunk and then there I'm going to be putting the tiny camera that's you know, it's a waterproof camera um, and there's even a, uh, a, a write-up on SVT performance which is where I got all my information on how to do all of this, so uh, credit to that guy on there. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really helpful tool to have. My 15 Mustang GT had it, backup camera, and it was really useful. I loved having that thing because, you know, you could always back up with confidence. So I want to do the same with this car, you know. I just want to be able to back up with confidence, make sure I don't uh, get too close to something that I want to get to, you know, bump into or whatever. So, yeah, let's get into it. It should be a simple process. It shouldn't take too long. And let's see what all it consists of. So first things first, uh, first I disconnected the negative battery terminal. And then I removed the door sill on the passenger side. And then also the kick panel in which we're gonna look for this wire right here. It's pink, pink and black wire. A little hard to see but this one is the one we're going to be tapping into from here to the cable onto the rear of my my double den stereo so with that being said i'm fixing to pull out my stereo it'll take like one minute to take remove that and, and locate the cable and as well i want to install the av cable that i'm going to be running through back there through the door sill out the back to the trunk all right so here for example, on my head unit, I got this wire that says reverse. So I put a butt connector and I ran the wire. And this wire, I'm going to run it through to the bottom like I just did right there. And I'm going to hook it up onto that black and pink wire right there. At the same time, I already went ahead and connected my AV connection to the stereo. And I ran that whole wire through. It's like a 17 foot wire so that's the one I'm gonna run all the way back to the trunk all right so now I ran a black AV wire through the door sill it's right here's the black one I ran it through I kind of tucked it in here ran it through I had to take off the bottom it's part of the seat so I took I, I tucked in that wire all throughout through here and then what I had to do is I took off the plastic piece that goes back there. There's uh, three uh, 10 millimeter bolts that, that I took off. And then I fed the wire right through here. There's like a little hole up here. You pretty much just, you just feed it and it comes out right through the back and I pulled it all the way through. I don't know if you can see the wire over there. But anyways, that's what I've been doing so far. So now we're in a trunk area. And this piece right here was attached on the, to the key mechanism all I simply did was just literally popped it off and I want to remove the actual key assembly right there and I'm supposed to just drill out that little rivet and this whole thing should just pop right off so here's a trunk key lock this was the most time-consuming thing for me to, to do was taking off the rivet right here uh, but well, yeah, once I took it off, I was able to drop this off loose. So now I can slide in the, the camera. But before doing that, I have to remove that little black, black plastic piece right there. Okay, so I got the camera in there now. It's still loose because I want to be able to like put the picture just right once I uh, hook up the power. Um, but here's lines that come out from it I went ahead and connected the AV to it and then this other one is going to be for the power and ground so I'm going to hook these two up 
Uh, I'm gonna see if I can hook him up somehow to like where this harness leads to. And I'm gonna try to guide all this to follow that so it can be really clean. And at some point I plan on getting a, like the cover that goes in the trunk that says Terminator or something. Um, but for now, just to make it look clean, I'm gonna zip tie it all throughout this harness right here. Okay, so basically got the simple layout of everything hooked up and connected the way it should be. I pretty much got the, the camera centered where it should be at, roughly. And then I kind of ran my wires along with this harness, zip tied a few places. So where I connected my my power and ground is the following. So that same pink and black wire used at the right hand side, passenger side kick panel, is the same one I used for one of the tail lights. This is actually the driver side tail light. It's for the power. I, I uh, spliced into that. And for the ground, I simply grounded it to one of the bolts where it connects to the, the tail light. So with that being said, everything is now fully functional. And I'm going to show you the inside. All right, so that's pretty much it for this whole little installation of the backup camera. Overall, it's pretty pretty simple to do. Uh, it's just a little bit time consuming, especially with removing that uh, key lock in the trunk. It may be easier for, for some versus others, but for me, it was really difficult. Uh, but you know, it was something that wasn't necessary to do. But I think it's a cool it's a cool feature to have in this car. You know, it's a older school Cobra and uh, kind of putting in you know newer technology in it so here's a little demonstration fixing to go in reverse and it shows up right there back up and there you go <laughs> you know when you stand from back behind a car you can't even tell by that it has a backup camera unless it's like you literally go up <laughs> and like look in that keyway hole but either way you just can't you can't tell by so it's pretty cool no need to drill any holes or anything like that so uh, anyways that's pretty much it guys that's, that's pretty much all for the this uh, installation video I will put down in the link the, the write up on SVT performance from where I found all this stuff, so. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Take care.